Hi guys, I'm Lena Delgado here at Real Excel channel. Today I'll be talking about Western Digital My Passport Ultra external storage drive. And I'll walk you through a very simple and easy to do installation. I have ordered this. It's a 3 terabyte drive uh, that you can connect to your computer laptop. Uh, it's a My Passport Ultra. Uh, Ultra, I guess it means small, I don't know, because uh, in the previous years I oh, oh it says in Windows 10. Oh it's good for Windows 10. Okay. So it's three terabyte, three year well, limited warranty. I bought extended warranty on it because you know you pay uh, if you spend a little more money it's always good to you know put a warranty on it. And um, I've had one of these for two terabytes. I've used it over I think over couple of years period and I've had no problems with it it connects very easy uh, doesn't ever crash so uh, this one I, have, I think looks even smaller than the other one so okay what else contents portable hard drive USB cable backup and security software and quick install guide you, know, you don't need install guide you just plug it in and do whatever pops up on your on your laptop distractions okay it's a set automatic backup to protect your photos and files um, and set 256 bit hardware encryption for added security if you want okay it's on the go secure backup and storage it's very small I love the size like I said I bought one well, no, I actually bought a couple uh, a few years back and they were huge. They were like, they were double this size. This, not this, double size like that and very heavy. So I'm really happy that they're coming up with new stuff. Uh, the old one is one terabyte. So, I mean, for nowadays with video files, it's not, that's not much storage at all. Should I mention difficult to take out of the package? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the same size as the other one. Okay. The other one has a little more texture, which I like more because then you can grab it easy. This one could just slip out of your hands. Uh, yeah. Okay, don't go away. Oh, there's the USB. Okay. So this is the instructions for you if you want to read them. You don't have to. You plug it in and we'll follow the instructions. Okay, that's the plug. Okay. Hope you can see. Plug it. So this is focusing. Okay. Plug it in. Plug it in. Oops. Hey. That was too easy to cut. What? Seriously? How come it's not staying? Okay, now just need to push it further. Okay, and I forgot to say. Okay, plug it in the USB. So now in the right corner here, it says tap to choose what happens with unknown content, and it shows as my passport drive D. So uh, what do you want to do first? want to open folder to view files okay and then you want to go uh, there's a whole bunch of files here go to the bottom one W D apps setup exa which means it's an executive file okay you double tap whatever one tap do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Yes, I do. WD installer, always check the uh, name of the company, uh, verified publisher. You can always say show details and it shows you uh, what it is, where it's gonna go, this one, uh, okay? And show information about this publisher certificate if you want. And it shows you how long is the certificate valid and it was expired in 2016. I don't care because I actually bought it a few months back so I'm good with that and I say yes because I'm installing it 
Now more than likely this is gonna have Oh there it is, this recycle bin, okay it's just installed the recycle bin. Welcome to WD Software Installer. Get the most out of your new WD drives. WD backup, which is backup software, excuse me, backup software. Protect your files, photos and documents with a backup uh, to WD drive or the cloud. I will not do that right now. Uh, WD security is a security tool. You set a password and keep your private stuff protected with hardware encryption. I will do that later. I will probably add it to the video, but right now I'm not doing this because uh, I'm in a hurry just to take everything off of my laptop. So I can, I have no room on my laptop, I have no more room on any of my, um, of my cards. So, uh, and I can't make any new videos or, or take photos. So, WD Quick View, okay? Drive Status Tool. WD Drive Utilities, Drive Management Tools, Configure, Manage and Diagnose is WD Drive. I think the first one we might have to go next. Recommend and install. The following applications will be installed. So, WD, WD, excuse me, WD Backup, WD Security, uh, Drive Utilities and Quick View. Okay, which is 49. Yes, we want to do just to recommend an install and everybody with anything special unless there's something specific I'm looking to do and software update available <sighs> to download the update now oh, I don't know yeah okay because I don't know I bought it a while ago so let's do download is complete it says backup security and drive utilities are on next Okay, have a backup plan. Configure backup to ensure your important files, photos and documents are safely copied to a second location. Uh, just installing... Okay, it's installing applications right now. I'm not doing the backup because I don't have time for it. And that will take hours. <laughs> yep. And then secure your WD drive. WD drive. Keep your stuff protected. Okay, manage, configure, manage and run tests, have a backup plan, configure backup to ensure your important files, photos, documents are safe. I think it's just repeating this one, so I'm not going to keep on reading it. So like I said, I really like the size, the light will always indicate, especially when it's flashing that it's working, okay, that it's installing or reading files. And uh, I, I will, they have a 4 gigabytes. I will probably, the next one will be 4 gigabytes because I really need, I really need big drives now. Yeah, maybe I'll even invest money in uh, larger storage if they have it. Like, I don't know what they do. But I do want something really, really big so I can put my stuff in one place. And I would also, I would like to have, like, the most important small files some of the ones you have to have one more than one uh, storage for your important files okay because if something goes wrong and that happens to my previous laptop it just crashed on me and I've lost all the videos that I had already I had so many videos in the making and I've lost all the pictures that was like I don't know, more than a hundred hours of work and I lost it all, so um, always invest in an extra one. Yeah? If you have two, uh, have one for all of your files and then have one for your really, really important files that you want to always have extra and have your work saved there. Okay, we're good. And it says next, backup files with uh, WD backup, we're not going to do that, uh, set security, so I'm not going to do that right now, I'll probably do it later. It's an easy thing, you go to set up, you, you put your password and you're done, there's nothing nothing to it, so uh, ma manage your drive with uh, drive utility, so let's do this, okay, check the status of your drive, uh, run quick drive test, run uh, complete drive test. I don't want to do any of this either right now, so um, you can 
check, run, drive status check, and that will do all of that stuff for you, okay? I'm not doing any of it. Finish. Thank you very much. Okay, so now what I can start doing is I open the files. We're going to see on my my hard drive is full. I mean full, full, full. So we have 2.72 terabyte free. We are very, very good for that. I want to remove at least 40 gigabytes right now at once because I have too much. Use. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have the relaxation sanctuary. It has 56 gigabytes. So I'm gonna move that, and then I can move it later on within the drive. Or let me do this. See? You go to passport. You create. Uh, what is it that I want? Completed you to projects. So you make a new folder. Because this, these are the completed ones, so I don't really need them on my hard drive anymore. And it's going to take 30 minutes. Okay, so that's it for the installation. Uh, always when you are finished with your drive, make sure you close all your windows, okay? So you close, close, close everything, and then you go to the icons and you go safely remove hardware and object media so you right click on that and I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm in the process of using it and then you would go to eject my passport whatever 259F that's the model number for 259F okay I said three, that one is 3 terabyte it's really good I'm very I'm looking forward to actually putting everything on it I have another two terabyte that's full, and so I need to use. I need to put this one, uh, and I want to have all of my files actually really, really well organized. So all of, all of my raw files and all of my YouTube videos that I've already done, I want to put them on uh, that hard drive. Okay. So again, you right click here, and you go to safely remove hardware hardware and eject media and you right click and then eject my passport I'm not doing it right now because right now I'm in the process of copying the items okay and this is gonna take half an hour sometimes of oh, 35 minutes so I gotta wait my time and I hope this was easy enough for you this is a great thing to get I'm gonna say it again if you have an opportunity to get a small size like this, like this one, then uh, get the small size because you know you can just put it in your pocket, you can put it in your purse, it can fit anywhere. And you're traveling, you take your information with you, you can take your, I don't know, whatever pictures, music, uh, videos with you everywhere. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel and come back for more videos. Press the bell button, you're gonna get notifications for the new videos coming out and see you next time.